G'day guys, Samson here. Today I'm going to be doing the one store thrifting challenge. Bye. 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 I wanted to do this challenge because I know that a lot of people who want to get into reselling and thrifting for stuff to sell on eBay maybe only have one or two stores that they can actually source items from. Now myself, I'm actually lucky enough to have a bunch of different thrift stores that I can source products to resell from, but I've gotten multiple Instagram messages and comments asking me, hey, I want to get into doing reselling thrifting products to sell on eBay, but I only have one one or maybe two different stores that I can actually go to to source products. So today, I want to prove a point that even if you only have one decent thrift shop near you, you can still make good money reselling products from that store for profit. Now, you might be thinking, Samson, isn't this just a worse version of what you usually do, taking the camera around to some stores throughout the day and showing us what you find to resell? Today, you're only going to one store. So, basically, the difference today is that I'm not just going to be looking at niches that I'm comfortable with, categories like men's clothing and electronics, video games. I'm going to be searching throughout the whole store to really maximize the amount of profit I can make from just one store when thrifting. And then, at the end of the video, I'm going to be going home and listing the items up on eBay and tallying up the total profit that I've made from this one store so you guys can see the reality of only having one store to source from and just how much money you can make. Now, it might be a bust, in which case I'm still going to release this video just the same, but I'm fairly confident if I search through this whole store, I'll be going to the Gosford Salvation Army, by the way, so a fairly large thrift shop. I'm fairly confident if I search through that whole store, I'll I'll be able to find some solid profitable items to resell. The only way to find out is to head to the store, so that's what I'm gonna go and do now. Let's hit the road. I've arrived at the store. As I said, I'm going to be looking through everything to maximize the amount of profit I can get out of this store. And I promise, guys, if I find nothing and it's a bust, I'll upload the video all the same because I want to show you guys the reality of thrifting at just one store. Now, the last time that I went to this location was a little over a week ago. Um, on my channel, there's actually videos of me coming here, the Gosford Salvation Army, to thrift. So it's not like it's been a really long time and I'm hoping that there's a bunch of stuff saved up here. Let's see what they have and I'm gonna try and get as much stuff out of here as I can. Alright, here we go. Right as I enter the store, I spot this Australia Wallabies Rugby Vest. I actually do leave this one because it has some staining on the front. Now, I do go to the men's clothing first because it's what I know best. I pick up this little Nike uh, dry fit men's shirt here. Nothing too crazy at all on this one. I'll probably be able to get around $15 for it, but it's only $2, so I grab that. Alright, this next item is definitely one to be on the lookout for. This is a men's woolen jumper from probably the 80s or the 90s. I think it definitely is vintage just by the tag and the way it looks in general. So definitely look out for these. This one wasn't a good brand. It was called Anset was the brand. Um, it doesn't matter though with these things, guys. They had 15 on the tag, but with my half-off card that I will be using today, I'll only pay $7.50 for it. You can see me looking up the comps on my phone, and I do end up grabbing this. Now, I will find out later that this thing did have a couple of holes so it's kind of regretful in that sense but generally these 100% wool jumpers are a good pickup. This next item is just really unfortunate. Starter, this jacket here, they used to make a bunch of really nice sportswear for big sports teams in America, but now they've done a deal with Big W over here in Australia so all of their new stuff is practically valueless so I can't grab that jacket unfortunately. Next, I find this Southampton Football Club Media Polo or Club Polo, and I do grab this. They had $4 on it, so I'll pay 2 in total with my half-off card, and I will grab that because English Premier League football stuff does really well. 
Next, I go over to the DVDs, uh, CDs, and video games, and I just grab a few that I think look interesting. I'm going to take them away to a corner of the store, so I'm not blocking other people from looking at this stuff. And then I'm just going to um, search all of these stuff up, or if they have barcodes, I'm going to scan those in, and then I'm going to look them up on eBay to see if there's a price. Just some box sets and stuff like that. I figure it's worth having a look, because I am trying to maximize my profit from this one store. So I'm going to take these items over, and let's see what they're worth. Alright, so I'm over in the corner of the store, checking on these box sets, seeing what their true value is on eBay, and first I check up this set of John Wayne movies, and unfortunately there's no value, it's selling new for like $39, um, it's what I have in my cart right now, and then also there's some video games, there you can see the John Wayne movie on my phone, it, it just doesn't have any value unfortunately, even though it looks like it might, looks can be deceiving. Um, also some video games in my cart, one PlayStation 2 and then one Xbox, and unfortunately neither of those had any value on eBay also. The final item I took over with me is actually this set of CDs. It's like classical pop, so like Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin. It's a whole 10 disc set, and this actually did seem to have some value. Some of the individual um, discs were selling for $8 to $10 each, so I figured it's worth picking up. They had $5 on it, and that's what I will pay for it. So yeah, it seems like a pretty good deal for that, and hopefully I'll be able to turn some profit on it. Now guys, believe me, I didn't give up on the DVD and media section. These two audiobooks here, I checked their prices as well, but there were just no comps for them, so it seemed like they didn't really have any value. Believe me guys, I didn't give up on this section. I really wanted to find some good finds in the media section, but I just couldn't see anything that had value. Um, maybe I'm doing it wrong, I really don't know guys, but I guess it's kind of the reason I don't often pick up DVDs and CDs myself personally to resell, because it seems very hard to find one ones that actually have value um i just don't really know maybe i need to get a scanner maybe i need to get like a little barcode scanner let me know in the comments guys if you use a barcode scanner to quickly scan dvds and maybe books because that might be something i have to invest in right now i just try and check box sets and tv shows and anything obscure that looks like it might have some value but i just didn't really have any luck in this section today I do actually spot this copy of Myst for PC, it's just like a really old video game um, for the PC and it's only a dollar and it sells for around 12 to 15 on eBay so I'll grab that one. Alright, moving on, I actually head over to the women's section, and this is where it starts to get really interesting. So, I spot this 100% leather RJ's motorcycle jacket here. They had $15 on it, so $7.50 with my half-off card. And this thing is definitely something you guys should be looking out for. Um, motorcycle jackets, especially the leather ones. So, this one, the comps were looking around $85 to $120 in terms of sold listings. The comps were looking really good for these RJ's motorcycle jackets so I will be grabbing this one and this should be a good bit of profit for me um, you know this is something that I don't pick up all the time but I am doing this challenge trying to find stuff outside of my comfort zone in terms of what I sell on eBay so this motorcycle jacket definitely fits into that and I will be picking this one up I just wanted to highlight these. I almost picked these up because I thought they looked really cool. Um, Umbro just isn't that good enough of a brand in terms of resale value, but I definitely like the ribboning on the side of these. I'm pretty sure these are actually men's, but they were in the women's section, these Umbro track pants. But yeah, there's something that potentially could have a little bit of value, but you know, just not enough for me to grab. Okay, I'm over in the framed pictures and artworks here, and the only thing that caught my eye was that portrait of Jesus, but I don't think that I would have any way to sell that. Um, maybe Maybe it's really valuable and I just missed a hidden gem, but I just don't think it's so obscure, you know, it's it's so hard with some of these things like I'm trying to expand what I'm looking at to resell. But there are some things that would pretty much require you to be a expert in certain areas to even get into selling them. Alright, so this Salvation Army has a boutique section. I've never bought anything from the boutique section, but I always go there just to see what's going on there, and maybe I'll find something, you know, I definitely wasn't expecting to though, but in this case, in today's trip to the thrift, I actually did find probably my best find from the entire um, thrifting experience today in this boutique section. So what I'm looking at here is a Nicole Benisti uh, women's jacket here. I think that's how it's pronounced. Now, this thing is pretty 
amazing guys i checked the comps and it's looking like new these things sell for honestly over a thousand dollars now i'm not saying that this particular item is worth that much now but that's what they sell for new and even used sold listings on ebay for nicole benisti uh women's jackets and like coats were looking at at least like 150 200 plus some of them more some used selling for four or five hundred dollars now i don't think this is one of the really high-end ones but it's definitely got some value and they had twenty dollars on it so ten dollars with my half off card so i will end up picking this this jacket up and guys this was the find that made me really glad that I ended up doing this challenge because I would have never looked in the boutique section this seriously you know I look through every rack here in this Salvation Army boutique section to find this jacket and I honestly wouldn't have taken it as seriously if I was just thrifting regularly I'll give you a better look at this jacket when I go through everything I bought at the end of the video now I did find one more item it was this RJ's jacket this was a men's one this time another motorcycle jacket this one wasn't leather though so it wouldn't be as valuable valuable as the woman's one but I'm still looking at probably around $50 for this jacket so I was glad to grab it and they had 15 on this one as well so it was $7.50 with my half off card and this was everything that I actually found at this thrift shop now I did go and look in the homeware section um they had some modems there but they were really old and they didn't seem to have any value on eBay and it is kind of unfortunate that I was only able to get stuff in generally speaking niches that I know about um probably with the exclusion of the motorcycle jackets because that's not something that I usually would pick up but it was still clothing and then also I got the CDs and one video game but you know I tried my best and I think I still got some really profitable items I can't wait to at the end of this video show you guys exactly how much I made off this store all right so I finished up in the store I'm pretty happy with how I went I really gave it my all guys it's currently 4 15 and when I got in there it was about 2 30 so more than an hour and a half I spent in that thrift shop. I looked everywhere guys. I looked through all of the clothing, the DVDs of course, and the electronics, the home goods. The one thing I'm disappointed in is that I couldn't get more non-clothing items, but I mean you guys will see the footage. I looked everywhere and honestly clothing is just what I know, but I definitely did expand my range in terms of the clothing that I was looking at. I looked through the entire women's section and as you would have seen, I found some great finds. So what I'm going to do now is head home and then I'm going to list all of of this stuff up on eBay um, I'm gonna give you the full breakdown I'm gonna tell you exactly what I paid for everything and then what I've got it listed up on eBay for and therefore you guys will be able to see the amount of profit that I'm gonna make per item and in total and you guys can see how much money you can potentially make from just one thrift store okay so I am back home now and I've got all of this stuff listed basically I'm gonna show you all of the items now and tell you exactly how much I put them up on eBay for the first item was this RJ's women's motorcycle jacket. The comps were looking really good for these, many of them selling for over $100 because these are 100% genuine leather. This is a woman's size 12 and I put this up for $90 plus 15 shipping, so a good bit of profit on this. I'm glad I picked it up and I paid $7.50 with my half off card for this one. Next item was this Nicole Benisti women's coat. Now this is definitely a designer item. These sell for like $1,000 new. Um, I didn't put it up for that much on eBay. I checked through the comps and it was really hard to find an exact match for this jacket, but I tried my best. Um, this lining on top is actually faux fur. Now, if it was real fox fur, it would be worth quite a bit more. The real fox fur ones on eBay are selling for up to $500. I saw some of them sell for that much, but this one with the faux fur, it's kind of hard for me to price an item like this. I don't have a lot of experience selling it, but just based on the sold listings, I put this up for $200 and I will definitely take offers on this one. So we're just gonna have to see how it goes with this. But yeah, this is definitely a designer piece of clothing, so it should fetch at least $100, and I will be taking offers on this on eBay, so I might not sell it for the full price, but what I've got it up for right now is $200. All right, just a quick update. Um, my mother came home and she had a look at the coat and she actually confirmed to me that it is actually real uh, black rabbit fur on the collar. So it actually might be worth a bit more than what I listed it for. I'm not entirely sure, but I just thought I would throw that in there just for your guys' information. Okay, so the one item I wasn't actually able to list up was the men's RJ's jacket. That I've actually, um, I'm gonna have to wash that because it's got some kind of uh, dirt 
around the collar and I didn't want to list it until I've got it washed because I can then maximize the amount of money I'm going to get it for it. Just based on sold listings, even if I can't get all of the dirt out completely but I can just give it a good clean, I'm going to put it down as $50. I think that's a pretty reasonable price for it. I'm probably even going to list it for more but just to be fair, I'm going to put a flat price of $50 on it just for the tally for this video. Okay, the next item I got was this Anset 100% wool men's um, jumper here. Now, this one, it did actually have a couple of holes, which is really unfortunate. I thought I was gonna be able to get maybe up to like 50 bucks for this, but with the one or two holes that I found on the cuffs, I just listed it up for $23 with $8 shipping. So hopefully I'll still get a sale on this. It's just unfortunate. I should have checked over it better. Um, it looked really good in the shop, but I did find some holes in it. So that's the kind of things that you have to deal with when you sell clothing on eBay. Okay, next up is this Nike Dry Fit Men's Shirt. Nothing really to say about this. I put it up for $15 plus eight shipping. It'll probably eventually sell. Not the best buy and it's not something I'd usually grab, but I was trying to maximize the amount of profit I could get out of this store. So I picked it up, you know, probably around $10 profit after fees on that, not too bad. All right, the final clothing item is this Southampton FC men's polo shirt. And this is a size small. I've got this up for $25. I think it will definitely sell eventually because there weren't that many comps, but it seems like the ones that are selling from overseas are selling for a lot of money. Um, so yeah, this one I should definitely be able to get $25 and I've got $8 shipping on that as well. Okay, so that's it for the clothing items. I got this copy of Mist PC game here. Um, I paid $1 for this and I've got it listed up for $11.95 and that seems to be about the price that this game is going for. Nothing too special, but it's at least $8 or $10 profit, so it's worth my time. Okay, so the final item is this Memories Are Made From This box set of music CDs. Now, this has got some of the greats on it. It's got Frank Sinatra. Dean Martin and also the Andrews Sisters which is not a group that I'm familiar with but I'm sure if you listen to classical pop music you probably know exactly who they are. I'm selling this for $40 plus $8 shipping on eBay. The one other listing for the exact same thing that's already on there is selling it for $55 so I just undercutted him and hopefully I'll be able to sell this. There weren't any sold comps for the whole box set but some of the individual CDs are selling for like $8 to $10 and there were some sold comps for them. So hopefully the whole set I'll be able to get $40. It doesn't seem unreasonable. Okay, so that's all the stuff I got. The total cost, if it all sold right now, would be $396. Now, of course, I've got to subtract cost of goods, shipping, and also eBay fees before I get my final profit figure. But that's what I'm going to do right now, guys, so you guys can see exactly how much I will have made from this one store. All right, I've come to this website, ebayfeecalculator.com, to work out exactly how much I made. Now, as we discussed, the total sale price, if it all sold right now, would be $396. The shipping charge is included in that. The item cost was $40 at the Salvation Army store. And the shipping cost, there were seven items, and the average cost for shipping one of the items was around $8. Some of the items a bit less, like the video game, and then some of the items a bit more, like the, the uh, leather jacket would be a bit more than that. But on average, $8 times seven is $56 for the total shipping cost. And then, yes, I do have an eBay store, so so that's selected and as you can see here our total profit would be approximately $251.78 so honestly I'm really happy with that I really worked hard to find all of the stuff I could in that one store and to be able to make almost $250 even if it all doesn't sell for that much and I only make you know around that 200 mark if I take offers on stuff I'm still really happy with that because I think it shows the possibilities when you're just thrifting from one location if you put the work in and you learn some different um, niche and different products that sell on eBay, you can actually make some really good profit. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like and please guys do subscribe if you're new. It's greatly appreciated by me. And most importantly though, make sure to drop a comment down below letting me know what you thought of the video. I'd like to know how many stores are you able to regularly flip from? For me, obviously there's a lot that I can go to, but not everyone has that luxury. So I'd love to know how you're making it work and finding stuff to resell on eBay. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video.